Hey, this is Jeff Diamond with DBZ Diamond. You're watching Diamond TV, and today we're looking at another one of our How Do You Choose series. So again, this series is designed to say, if you've chosen the body style that you like, how do you choose which particular model is right for you, and what are the differences between the models? So today we're gonna look at the Boleros, and we're gonna talk about the differences between the main, or what we call the core models of Bolero. There's a few that we're not gonna look at today that you'll see other in-depth rundowns on, like the LT series, or the EX series, but we're gonna focus on the main four Boleros for the How Do You Choose series. Those series are, if you look on my far right, you're gonna see the Silver Burst there, which is a AB series of Bolero. On my far left is the FM series of Bolero in a Trans Ruby, and then the two on the inside here, immediately on my left is the QM, this is a night sky that we're looking at, and then on my right here is the FM Plus, and in this case, we're looking at the Trans Teal version. So, for those of you who are already familiar with the Bolero, which I assume you are if you're at this video, then you know some of the main details about the guitar, but it's got a very classic shape in the guitar, good thick chunk of wood for a nice heavy sound, a big open sound, 3D contouring throughout the body, which has become customary for DBZ, DBZ Diamond here. We've got the cut-ins that are characteristic of the Bolero. Contours all the way around the body. Nice cuts on the back. Again, good set necks with great neck heel contours. So, very classic DBZ design that's been here since the start of the company. So let's talk about what the differences are between the series then. So we're going to start over here on the far right with the a, B series and Silver Burst. What makes the A, B series an A, B series is it is a solid mahogany guitar, which is great for those of you who like that heavier, slightly darker mahogany tone. It's gonna be bound all the way around the guitar with, in this case, a white ABS binding. We may use white, a black, or a cream, depending on the color configuration. In this case, the Silver Burst design uses a white ABS binding that surrounds the body volume of tone in a three-way control and dbz diamond custom pickups in this case the r15 and the n9c neck pickup uh, designs that were done by me for the ab all of the guitars will have grover tuners so what's your next step from there when you move from the ab series let's look all the way over here to my left at this beautiful trans ruby fm the FM is a designator for Flame Maple, so automatically we know we're getting an upgrade when we move to a Flame Maple over a mahogany configuration. For those that like that maple over mahogany, more balanced sound, a little bit brighter than the all mahogany, we're going to have a Flame Maple over mahogany, mahogany set neck, a rosewood fingerboard. In that case, we're looking at a Trans Ruby. You also see that we have a natural or a scrape binding that goes all the way around the guitar. Great with a maple top, not only as an accent, a, a really gorgeous accent, but also to show off that maple top. It's a very upgraded custom feature that you see in guitars. Some additional things that you'll get with that are you're going to get the volume and tone and three-way control, but you're also going to get your pickup selector switch and a coil tap. You're going to have Seymour Duncan pickups with the JB and 59. Nice upgrade to the FM series to the Seymour Duncan pickups. So where do you go from here? Well, on my left, we have the QM. On the right, we have the FM Plus. So since we just talked about the FM, let's look at the FM Plus. In this case, beautiful bursted trans teal finish. Again, you're going to have the volume, the tone, the three-way selector switch with the coil tap. To split the coils of the pickups. You move to a abalone binding with an ABS all the way around the guitar. In this case a black ABS with abalone binding all the way around the guitar. Matching headstock on the guitar which is just a very nice accent to the piece and in this case we're going to upgrade the Seymour Duncan pickups to the DBZ Diamond Custom Signature Series Seymour Duncan pickups with the DD1 in the bridge and the DD5 in the neck. Uh, pickups that I designed with Seymour Duncan, which you're really going to like. Nice accent to the guitar. On the QM series over here on my left, this one again is Night Sky in color. Again, all the same features, volume, tone, accent, uh, volume and tone with the pickup, uh, I'm sorry, the coil tap. And again, you're going to have the DD1 and the DD5 pickups, the Seymour Duncan DBZ Design Diamond pickups. But obviously, one of the major features is the very well sought after, very high sought after quilt maple, as opposed to the flame maple finish. Gorgeous wood, great tonal properties, beautiful aesthetic. 
But those are the main designs here, the main differences between the designs, between the ST, the FM on my left, or the two upgraded ones here with the FM Plus and Transteal, or the QM series in a night sky quilt. So I'm Jeff Diamond. Thanks for tuning in the How Do You Choose series for the Boleros. This is Diamond TV. Thanks for watching.